Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I um, what I do when I'm going to learn a song on guitar. So say I don't know how to play the song and I want to figure out how. So I go to a site called Music Notes and I bought a lot of music off here. If you saw my books in my previous videos, um, they, were, they were books that contain the same thing that this site does. So similar to this. Now my girlfriend wants to learn this song, Unbreak My Heart, and so we've kind of been learning it together. So I thought I'll get the guitar for it. So I call it, it's called PVG, which means Piano Vocal Guitar. And um, oh, it's just zoomed in really big. I'll just make it smaller. So it's $7.18 Australian. So I bought that already. It's about $5 American or something like that. And there you can see it's got the piano music, which you don't care about. Um, I'm not using the piano music. I'm only using the chords. And there they are. Whoop, zoomed right in. They give you the sample page, so that's free. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. So you can see the um, whoops. Yeah, so you can see the sam the first page as uh, like a free sample. So what you do is you buy it and then you get all the pages, so you can learn all the different parts. Now let's have a look here. So you just got to learn how to read. Mm, come on. Uh, far out. You've got to learn how to read chord diagrams, okay, and you just play them. So these are the chord diagrams. I thought we'll zoom in more. Okay, so they're the chord diagrams, and you can transpose it to easier to play keys. So I always like to transpose the song. Uh, you probably can't see it because I've changed it there, but see now I just said transpose, and it's just transposed it to an, a different key, so you can use the capo with it. Because these are called, these chords are easier to play than the other chords. They're called open chords. So that's how I get the chords. And then the next step is I write it out so it's easier to read. So instead of having to look at all that, well, oh, let me try this one. So I put it on the paper in sections so it's easier to read. So you got the intro, you got the verse, get the chorus. I oh, know it's not focusing. Come on. And then I draw out the chords. So when Jess, my girlfriend, goes to learn it, um, well, I can just use the top part because I already know most of the chords off by heart. But in case I don't know the chords and or I've forgotten the chords or something like that, there's the focus. I, I draw all the chords out, and I make mistakes as you can see some of the scribbles. So I draw the chords so that that way, when when you want to learn it, it's all ready for you, and you don't have to wade through wade through that and it's got all this stuff and you've got to flip through four pages it's annoying right so you sort of sort of organize it like this so if you want to learn how i do this kind of thing there you go you just got an idea but if you want to learn how to organize it and how to read chord diagrams or whatever you can get my guitar course and it shows you how to do all that or just get some lessons and i'll streamline it for you and show you everything all right so that's the first step to learning a song getting all the correct chords so that you can play play it exactly as it is and not just be guessing and play wrong chords when you go on websites where it's free and half the chords are usually wrong sometimes they're right but um buy it support the artist and um, get make sure you got the right chords the first time so all the chords i play are usually right on and that's an amazing feeling when all the chords sound really nice okay guys i'm rishad rmbsinglessons.com bye